Hello! Hello everyone, welcome to Nintendo Ninja News. I'm your host, Chris Dices. And whew, whew, I've been very busy playing with new Pokemon Go, the whole new GPS type game. It's 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 been a long it's 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 um it's worn me out. A lot of exercise. And um <clears throat> Finally, the Pikachu onesie actually has come in useful for me for once, a little ears and that. <sighs> oh, I'm just, I, I think you can tell which team out of the Pokemon Go um, game that I will be. Now, I could be Team Valor, which is red. I could be Team Mystic, uh, blue, or I could be Team Instinct, which is yellow. And I think I'm going to go yellow. Now, <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, just, I'm just going to have a bit of a drink here. Yellow all the way, yellow all the way. Oh, I've been playing the whole new Pokemon Go game, and it's been crazy. Um, <coughs> let's switch him back on so I can actually have a look at the game. <coughs> I've got my own little backpack here for my Pokemon Go journey. You know, you gotta, you got to be prepared for this sort of thing. I've even bought the old, the Wii U Fit Meter. You know, I'm going to be walking around doing this sort of stuff all the time, you know. <clears throat> Life has been pretty good at Nintendo Ninja News. We got lots of views from E3, which was great. And these things wobble, don't they? It's great. Let me take these off. <sighs> what else we've got in here? We've got, I've got my 3DS for street passes and all that sort of thing. Which is great. Oh, what else? Oh, I've got a master board just in case I, I find Mewtwo down the road in Canberra or anywhere in Australia. Oh, I've got some food. A tin of uh, tuna and some, and, you know, a little bit of fruit, healthy stuff as you're walking around in your uh, Pokemon Go journey. So, <clears throat> it's it's been a busy, busy time for me at this point. Oh, well, <clears throat> it has been a very interesting thing today. Pokemon Go has been released um, on iOS and Android and um, people around the world are starting to uh, play with the game um, and people are getting excited about all the different features. And um, I won't be able to go through everything because it's, it's, it's fairly involved and detailed in some areas which is very cool, and I'm sure that um, people will learn more about the game as they learn things. Ooh. Oh, burps. Mm. Oh, crazy stuff. And um, <clears throat> so what I've learned a little bit about the game is that I'm currently at level four as my trainer, and um, if you get to uh, level five, you can pick your own team and fight gyms, which was uh, which is a very cool feature. Now you can hold a gym if it hasn't been taken, or if it's by the same team, red, uh, blue, or yellow, which is fantastic. So that's something that you can do. <clears throat> now, we'll just go through the shop items. So we're just gonna keep this basic, just for people who are just starting off like me on the on the Pokemon journey, they've got your backpack, we can quit our jobs now, we can live the dream of being Pokemon trainers now. There's no point, you just just scavenge for food in the, in the dumpsters and or just buy cheap foods. It's, it's you know, living the life now. <laughs> uh, oh dear, what am I doing? Why am I doing this for? Why am I in a Pikachu onesie? Ah! Uh, all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, why am I doing this to myself? I've been hosting this show for nearly a year. I think I'm going crazy. Uh, I think this is episode 13 of the Ninja Show. People, pe still, people are still watching me. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, be the okay. Shop items. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Incense is um, increasing the chances of Pokemon 
being around in your area, which is very cool. Um, I just tried it before and I got a Rattata, which is um, all right. Lucky Egg is boosting experience points for 30 minutes, which is great. I think it um, adds it by 50% or something like that. Don't quote me on that. I could be wrong. Um, the Lura modules, uh, Lura's Pokemon to Poker Stops. And Poker Stops, you'll see all around um, your place where you live. And you can pick up things like Pokeballs and things like that so you can catch Pokemon. <coughs> egg incubators. Every now and again, you may find an egg at these poker stops and that will enable you to um, incubate an egg and you walk around and it will hatch into a Pokemon. A bit like uh, the Pokemon games on 3DS, DS and your Game Boys. Uh, <laughs> uh, bag upgrade. You can get this one and it will add 50 items uh, carry supply, which is very good. Another 50 items to carry. And Pokemon storage upgrade, you can up you can do an upgrade and um, it will give you uh, 50 more Pokemon that you can carry on you in the game. So at some point when you when you catch more than 50, I suppose, you'll probably need to get an upgrade. So you, at some point you will have to pay some sort of money. The game is, is for free and it is microtransaction games. It's the nature of it. It's not like buying Pokemon in your 3DS and you pay the whole amount and you get everything. Maybe except for the Pokemon Bank, but that's okay. So we can <coughs> throw that out of the way. Um, the game looks... Oh. oh, here we go. We're actually going into a battle. So you can see. There's the battle. Oh. Hang on, hang on. Well, that absolutely stuffed up on me. Hang on. Hang on, I'm trying to catch a Pokemon here. And it's not working. It's fucked up on me. Oops. Well, that was embarrassing. Game mucked up. But um, looking at the prices and things like that, um, so you can buy poker coins and get pokeballs and all these different items i talked about from the shop without going around the world and, and traveling so they range from something like five dollars up to 120 dollars you can you can fork out to get up to like 14 uh, thousand poker coins now don't completely quote me on that um those amounts will be different for different countries so that is very very cool to hear about that um so it seems like a lot of fun um, I've been doing pretty well. You can, you can hear the game loading up there. Okay, um, I actually can get to the shop now, so I can tell you directly the prices. So, coins, 100, uh, poker coins. This is for Australia, everyone. They're a dollar fifty. that's not too bad. 550 poker coins, that's eight bucks. That's not too bad, that's not too bad. 1200 poker coins, $15. All right, it's getting a bit. Uh, $31 for 2500 coins. 5200 coins, that's $63. And if you want to spend $160, wow, um, you'll get 14,500 coins. Wow, that is a lot of coins. So. That is quite crazy. That is um, just insane. So, anything else that I can show off with? What are the Pokemon I've got? These are the Pokemon I, I have caught so far. Now, you probably can't even see that due to the glare. So, I'm just going to put that down. And pretend that I didn't do that. So, <clears throat> I think that we might just cut this video off now. I've had my fun, as you can see, at Nintendo Ninja News. Um, it's 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 been a lot of fun. <laughs> oh boy! So <clears throat> Pokemon Go is now out, and you can go and play and have fun. Um, this will give us a, a fair bit of fun um, until I guess for Monster Hunter fans, Generations is coming out um, literally um, next week. 
And um, for the main Pokemon event, Pokemon Sun and Moon, that will be coming out November 18th here in Australia and different dates so and on um, during that sort of week period during middle of November. So it's fantastic to see that sort of thing. Um, I hope you enjoy playing the game and I will keep on playing with it. There is a little, <clears throat> I made a Pokemon Go Canberra, which is a very little small capital city of Australia. Um, I may put it in the description box for those who like to join up and see what it's all about. So they're helping each other out, train and battle and all that sort of thing. So it'll be a lot of fun. So that is it for me. And I shall see you later on. Whew. All right. Now I can get back to training for my uh, Pokemon Go game.